Waves crash on the shore all day, every day. The energy for each individual wave may have formed a thousand miles away. It's a culmination or a way of thinking about work that I've been doing all my life. To be a tapestry artist, you need to be an engineer. One of my best definitions of an artist is a person who's into everything. From an early age, I did por portraits, but it was at the same time that the center of art was moving from France to New York and uh, abstract expressionism was happening and cubism and Picasso and... Nancy's work compared to other abstract uh, art is much more structured. When we think of abstract art, we think of experimental work that's usually happy accidents that come together. So the artists are kind of pouring paint or shooting paint out onto canvases that's real kind of common. Nancy's are drawn and she, does, she starts her big paintings even with a color pencil drawing. So they're more highly structured and they're more highly built. And she's using design motifs that are familiar that come from ancient designs, Native American designs. So people are kind of recognize some of the things they're seeing and they don't know why. She is an artist in her DNA. Her grandmother, her mother, uh, it's what she grew up with. Her mom was always designing while Nancy was a little kid. So she's just been dunked in deep aesthetics. I think that my favorite piece at this time is this last piece I did, which is the wave theory piece. And it sort of is like, well, what have I been doing all this time? If <laughs> that's the best one ever. As I was working on it, it occurred to me that these abstract pieces were really some sort of self-portraits. That I mean, if I'm going to put them down, they must have come out of me somehow. Nancy was really fortunate to grow up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where she was exposed to Native American images and Hispanic images that have been done here for hundreds of years. I decided when I was 13 that I wanted to be an artist. When I was in high school, um, I decided to make a hooked rug. I went to the Alvarado, which was the only museum in town when I was a kid. I had this piece that was in the Alvarado. It was like an abstract piece. It was divided into three parts and it had almost identifiable things in it, but it was abstract. Nancy's first lecture in China was called The Evolution of Tradition. And throughout her life, she's woven together design motifs and ideas from ancient to contemporary art. And that's been kind of her thread, is plying that together. So she's interested in traditional arts and traditional materials with a contemporary vocabulary and a contemporary expression. How could it be a self-portrait if it's geometric abstraction? And I realized, well, we have geometry in us. DNA being a record of past lives, which it literally is, blows my mind. And here I'm writing this thing on wave theory, which is a description of how I'm calling on my self-conscious and uh, not even consciously asking for it, but things that I do, I'm assuming came from all of the experiences that even came before me. <laughs>